So Mike is going to talk to you about what's going on in social media and how you can use it to enhance your practice. So please join me in welcoming Mike Burns. Hey, thanks, Kyle. I got to grab this. Try to work down here for you. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I think that social media is really going to be changing the way that we communicate. And I'll give you some evidence to that so you don't just believe it's some social media speaker blowing a, a lot of hot air. Uh, but social media, I'm really excited about this. You can tell it's my passion. Uh, it's just one of 100 topics we talk about, but it's the one topic that, sorry, advisors as a whole don't quite get. And so I'm glad to see a bunch of people here in the 101 session because I can help you start from the ground up. The 201, if you're interested, and you can stick around. It's a little bit more advanced, but the, the point of this presentation is to be you know, talk to you a little bit about the theories of social media and why things are changing so you get it. So it's not just stats that, that kind of bore you. Hopefully I can tell you, you know, why this whole communications revolution has taken place. Um, and then the, you know, a quick show of hands here, who is using social media? Put them up a little higher. Come on, don't be embarrassed. Okay, so not everybody. Um, what I would say is you know, the, the people that raise their hands, there's a reason you kind of, at the beginning, you only went half ways, because you're just tip, dipping your toes in the waters, likely. So what I'll try to do is convince, that, convince you that there's some more reasons to really use it. Uh, and you, who here has some restrictions where they can't use a social media site? OK, a lot of you. And what I'm going to say is I, I'm your champion. If you are butting heads with anybody, a senior executive, compliance officer, call me day or night. I will pick up my phone. I will call them and help you as much as I can. It's an uphill battle in the, in the financial services world, probably last of any industry when it comes to social media. Um, so I, I would love to help you if I can. Uh, there's firms that are using this successfully, and some are still a little bit behind. I can help you. I hope that I can help you and, and take some of this information from the slides home and tell your chief marketing officer, I tell make this mandatory if I do a focus group, why do you work with the advisor? And I ask the advisor going in, and I love to hear their answers. And they usually will say, well, it's my five-step investment process, or you know, I have this unique approach to financial planning, or wealth management, blah, blah, blah. It's the same three things every time. They might be in a different order, but it's the same three things. I trust them. I like them. He cares about me. And so in a relationship industry, it's so, so important that you remember those three things. Because social media is going to help you in a big way in those three categories. I also ask them, are you using social media? Same as you. They're about the same age demographic, usually, in the focus groups. They raise their hand about 75% you know, of the way. You know, I'm on Facebook to keep tabs on my grandkids. You know, I get these link LinkedIn invites. I accept them, but I, I don't quite know what's going on. So honestly, the, you know, you hear of these statistics, and I'll give you one in a second, that you know, high net worth individuals are using social media. They are, but they're still trying to figure it out, too. So what I would say is get to know why they're using it, and that'll make you more effective. Uh, when it comes to uh, the next question in the focus group I'll ask is, have you done a search? And everyone raises their hand straight up. And so social media, I promise you, is going to help you with search. In this day and age, you want to be found online. And so if you're using social media, it's going to help you. And I talk about that in a lot of detail in the 201 session. So if you stick around for that, I'll give you some real details. So here's the stat. 70% of millionaires uh, are using social media. I just saw this. Uh, I don't know if April's in the room, but she just tweeted it out this weekend. I, I loved it and added it. It's on KPMG's website. And they did this study with some other folks. And they looked at millionaires. 70% are using social media. The most popular with millionaires is Facebook, believe it or not. And it's probably the least popular with advisors, go figure. Uh, and the statistics showed that 46% of people are using Facebook. The coolest stat is what it was in, in 2010, it was 26%. So it's almost doubled in a year. 